exciting. How is everybody? I've given up on prediction, production value content. There, get the door handle out of the shot. How is everybody? Okay. Hi, you guys. Okay, waiting for the chat to show up. Let's see if it does. I saw a few of you. I'm gonna have to look over here again. Super annoying, y'all. How is everybody? I can see. That's the cat. Oh, there's the chat. Hi. That was the cat. I can see the cat. And I'm dressed in extremely strange clothes. Let's see if that. Let's see if this is better. Okay. Let's see. Hi, you guys. I've got all these lights everywhere. How is everybody? Oh my God, what a rough journey getting in today. I literally just showered. Pat's back with her pronouns. Y'all want to tell her what my pronouns are? <laughs> um, yeah, right? Like, take your pronouns and stick them up your rear end. Hi, y'all. Oh my God, yeah. It is late. I have a business appointment. What, what time is it? It's 7.15. I have a business appointment in 45 minutes. So I decided to keep myself awake because I'm like a sleeper. Now it's an hour later. Like, oh my God. Anyway. Yeah, it's cute, huh? And it matches my necklaces. It's just, it's a crop top. I can't wear full sweaters. I can't wear adult clothes and I can't wear thick material. It's really weird. Um, yes, on Michael. Okay, yeah, it's poop. What's poop? Oh, her pronoun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Um, oh, hip replacement. Good for you. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? These are the little glasses Paige got me. So I'm wearing Paige's little glasses to match my green little sweater. Mm. June, you're up early. Yeah, Pat wants to know all of your pronouns. Out with your pronouns. Hi, Ashley. Oh, my God. Ashley. Ashley made me fucking crack up. I'm driving, and she sends me this text. I'm not going to say what it was, but I almost drove off the road. <laughs> Ashley, so, so unnecessary. I'm like, so I was hiking all day Saturday, and I'm thinking about Ashley's text, and I'm like, this is cracking me up. She's a funny girl, that one. Uh, <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. It's an it's an us joke, me and Ashley. Anyway, yeah, I <laughs> I literally I can't wear adult clothes. No, I really can't. I I would like to wear boxer shorts out with heels and maybe like a, a fucking bow in my hair. Like I'm so sick of being grown up. They make the fabric on expensive clothing thick. I I love you too, Ashley. They make they make the um. Like if you go to grown-up stores, like, uh, let's see, is there a deeper reason behind STDs? Stop fucking people with STDs. Um, everything connects to everything. <laughs> but I was going to say, when they make clothes for like grown-ups, it's like this thick material with lining. And I can't, I just, I can't. I can't. I mean, I shouldn't be having my ass hang out either, but I feel much better as a person the less clothing I'm wearing. And what you doing, Neil? You look, she's looking at Keith down there. I feel much, <laughs> I love you more, Legacy Styles. <laughs> I feel much better wearing basically no clothing. Like, I don't mind covering up, but I can't wear thick. I just can't. Oh, she's got the little, um, she's got the little sunflower. Anyway, I wanted to show, I love shorts. I can't really wear shorts anymore because, you know, I don't like the way my legs look, but... Uh, it's more the texture. Like now I'm going to cover up my arms. It's fucking a nightmare, y'all. It's the legs and the arms. And then my trainer, this is my trainer. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm not going to be seen where I don't like the way I look. Sorry. It's just me. Um, I mean, if I was in the Midwest, maybe no one would care, but I would care. So, you know, as soon as I see the crepe skin, I'm like, good for you for dressing however you want. Awesome but not me. Um, anyway, uh, my trainer's like, well, you know, it's because you're older. Maybe you're, I'm like, dude, I had cellulite when I was 12. Okay. Like I've always had cellulite estrogen. Uh, 
Yeah, an umbrella in tweed. I can't go there. <laughs> I can't go there then. Um, I spilt hot um, milk all over my legs. And look, Anthony. Here's the letter from Anthony in Toronto. Okay. And look what we got. Butter tarts, y'all. What's the butter tart? I, I can't even. Because Tallulah's creeping around trying to get the butter tarts. Look. Can you see a butter tart there? Can y'all see? Butter tarts. There's six of them. These are slut tarts, y'all. They're <laughs> butter tarts. <laughs> butter tarts. Butter sluts. You get it? <laughs> butter sluts. Right here. Instead of tarts, they're whores. <laughs> I've got six. I've got six. Look. Right there. They came in the package. Thank you, Anthony, for that. And then I got another package. Look at this. Happy holidays. They sent it early. This is from Death Dealer on here. So um, it is from Brett and his wife, Julia. Or Brett and Julia. I don't actually know if they're married. I am assuming they're married. Or at least assuming they're partners. They look like mini pecan pies. Well, that would throw me over the fucking edge, right? Hey, Canada, eh? <laughs> so look at this box. Look, look at this. I well, I hope I can lift it. This is from Death Dealer right here. Look, it is a box full of Christmas goodies. So I did find one thing I went through. I'm trying not to open everything before Christmas, but you know I'm gonna. Anyway, thank you, Brett and Julia. Thank you so much. Of course, me, I opened the card. I saw what was in the card, you two. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff, but look at this. Look. Little Meadow gonna love this. Look. Sorry, sorry, Daddy. You now have two bosses. <laughs> He's got three. He's got Mommy Kenna, Lila, and Baby Meadow. Isn't that cute? I can't wait to take it to her, even though it's for Christmas. But they sent it early, so now I'm going to take it early. You know what I mean? Get down from the butter tarts. Mew wants the butter tarts. Isn't that cute? So cute. Yeah, this I got in Arizona last year, running through the desert. Of course, me, I got to stop and get a ring. I find with a lot of the turquoise, it's delicate. It's, it's like delicate. Um... Yeah, Tallulah loves this box from Brett and Julia. She thinks it's her bot. Let's see, I feel like my hips are expanding just looking at the butter tarts, right? <laughs> I just showered, Peter. I was, uh, yeah, I wear glasses all the time on my head just because I feel like if I pull your attention up here, you won't notice all this shit down here. Um, I just got, look at this. Look, y'all, just look. Just seriously look. Look who's in the box. Are you in the box? Why are you in my Christmas box? She's in my Christmas box. You see that? Cat in a box. Um, <laughs> she's trying really to get to the butter tarts. I know what she's doing. So, come on, Lou, out. Don't bite me. We talked about that. Come on. I have to scoot her out. She just gets, I know, she loves boxes, totally. She's in my computer box. She's there everywhere. Um, yeah, she's wired. She smells, she smells the butter tarts and she's like, Ooh, butter tarts. Uh, <laughs> so cute. Okay. So I just got out of the shower. I didn't shower all day. I did not shower. Thank you for that. I did not shower all day, but I thought I'd shower for you because I worked out. Excuse me. Then I had clients, um, and Lenny's back where he should be unless he comes off the wall again and comes over here. Uh, yeah, Lenny's back. And then I never had a butter tart. It's delicious. Now you need one. Don't start the habit. Just eat a bite and walk away. Turquoise rings. Yeah, I love them. My, I have my um, Aunt Ruth's turquoise bangles from Mexico from like 1950. I have all of that that she sent me. So... J. King, no, this is just a ring I picked up on the side of the road. It was a big flower, so that's what I did. Mm. Look at that. I'm like, I have to have coffee. Carrot cake. Yeah, I can't start this. I can't go down this road, y'all. You never heard of butter tarts because it's Canadian. It's Canadian. 
It's a Canadian thing. I'm drinking my own coffee out of my own mugs. I've not had Starbucks in a month and a half, y'all. Yeah, me and Mew do have the same. <laughs> She's now coming back for the freaking butter tarts. Come on, no butter tarts. Leave those for mommy. She's right here. Lemon tarts too, We I love lemon tarts. We, you know, you're from England, right? Or no, your boyfriend's from England, but you know what butter tarts are. Um, yeah, so cute. So no Starbucks for a month and a half at all. Canadians bloody... <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> butter sluts. That's what I'm going to call them. Yeah, everything's in danger. You what? You can't tell. So who cares? What are you going to do about the danger? Meaning, uh, lost my lapis ring, but I. Do. Oh yeah. Oh your lapis ring. I love lapis. Yeah, your fiance's from England. Then he knows what butter. Well, you're from Canada. You know what butter tarts are, we? Because it's actually British, and you know what trickle tarts are. The lipstick is a combination of MAC and it's a combination of um, necromancy. It's called necromancy makeup and MAC and it's their purple color. It's a little bit too purpley for me tonight. So I was like, mm, I'm going to add some pink to it. So yeah, don't worry. You know what? You can't, None of us can do anything. There's absolutely literally nothing we can do because no one does anything. That's why everybody took the shot and listened to the government, right? So no one's going to do anything. So why are you walking around in fear? If you're not going to do anything, <laughs> fucking embrace it then. Me, I'm not listening to them and I didn't listen to them and I will not be listening to them. Uh, ever in my life will I be listening to them. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, okay, so you know what really bothers me so much? That door handle. No, you know what really drives... Look, it's back. The door handle's back and Lou's looking. So you know what drives me absolutely crazy? So when I watch TikTok, right? So I watch the TikTok people and yeah, it's called Necromancy Makeup. It's out of Puerto Rico. Kind of interesting. They have interesting colors. So I'll try out new brands. It's like an indie brand. So yeah. All right. My nose is stuffed. No idea what this stuff's about. Anyway, not the point. Point is, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the TikTok people. So on TikTok, they make up all of these words like smexual, smexual abuse, uh, other words for pedophilia. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, let's see. I waited 45 minutes on the phone for an appointment and still didn't get it. I don't know who you're waiting for on the phone. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Because, yeah, you would have gotten your appointment and I wouldn't have kept you waiting 45 minutes. I just wouldn't have picked up if I was going to blow you off. If you're talking about me. Um, oh, the doctor. Good. I'm like, me? No, I'll just blow you off. <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't answer the doctor people. So when they talk about on um, TikTok... And all these people use code words. You do understand that you're allowing them to censor you. We have freedom of speech, whether anybody likes it or not, right? Whether anybody likes it or not, we have freedom of speech. I know. I, well, I, little sunshine, I can't get up. I'm sleeping. Like, I, right now, I should be sleeping. <laughs> but anyway, we have to actually, we literally need to speak the words because we're fucking adults and we need to speak the correct words they keep um these are ombre nails jasmine does them yeah i'm a non-voter and i don't fucking care so you don't like me i'm not doing anything for thanksgiving i'm not following traditions anymore i've gotten rid of everybody and everything and there'll be no thanksgiving and i'm just not doing it so that's me um, I choose not to do it. Are, are we really celebrating the capture of the Indian people? Like the Middle East is out of control and there's people blaming, hi Jana, there's people blaming, you know, Israel on the Palestines or Palestines on the Israel, whatever it is. How come no one ever speaks up about Native Americans and what the government did to them? And how come the government isn't being held accountable for throwing the Indians, and I'm going to use the word Indian just because they changed it 7,000 times, then indigenous, native, Inuit, whatever, all over North America that the government threw off, right? Why does the government get away with that? Why does that happen? How come 
They distract us with wars that they create. Okay, the government creates this. This is government. I know, Buffy St. Marie, exactly. Native Americans, Native Canadians. Why does nobody defend natives, okay? Why does no one defend them? Why do we allow the government to take over the land? Why is that, right? Why is that? What is that? What is that about, right? Who are you talking about, we? I don't know who you're talking about. But why is that? Why is that? Why are we focused every fucking place that the government says there's a war and the government tells you how to respond to the war? None of us. Oh, your son's girlfriend. Jesus. I'm sorry, we. Yeah, because we're easily haters, because we're easily manipulated, a.k.a. fucking stupid. But no one says anything about Indians on their land. It was their native. They're the ones that were here. So, yeah, of course she's psycho. I totally understand. I totally get it. Um, I'm I'm quite sure it's just ridiculous. No, what Jupiter? It's I I I'm wondering. We listen to Biden. Why doesn't Biden do reparations for the Native people? Oh no no no. We can't. No, we can't have that. We can never ever address what happened to the Native people of North America. I'm including Canada. All the way from Inuit, we call them Inuits, to the native Canadian Indians, the Canadian Indians, whatever their sex and sex, not sex, sex, S-E-C-T-S. They're groups of different types of people and all the way through to North America, including Mexican people. So they don't want the Mexican people in America, but yet they took the land from the Mexican people that are a combination of Indian and Mexican. But that's okay. That's fucking okay. Just focus on the Middle East where you can do nothing and and start hurting people here in America because clearly they're responsible for what's going on over there. Me and my kitchen, I'm responsible for it. So are you, by the way. Um, so yeah, no, to pray for him, we, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So I just don't understand. I don't get it. I just, I, oh, hi, Marina. There I see Marina, but I'm curious about the native people. I don't understand. I literally don't understand. Like, but we got to focus out of the country always. So they literally, yeah, Marina's the media hound, you guys, right there. She's right there. There goes Marina <laughs> up. I can see it just really briefly. But why do we do that? Like, why do we think that it's okay? And why do we listen to any government? I don't care if it's Canadian. I don't care if it's European. I don't even care if it's Middle Eastern. Why are you listening to these people? Who are these fucking people? Do they direct you? Do they tell you what to do? To tell them to fuck off and then just like, you know, whatever. Hi from Jamaica. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Like deal with the Indian people that were on the land first that no one ever, ever, ever takes care of. Okay, ever. So Marlon Brando did. I was talking about that tonight. Brando is the one, and Brando's a lunatic, okay? Like, I mean, I'm not so happy with what he did in his life. I'm not the judge of him. However, Brando was the one that sent his, I don't know, Native American friend up to get his Oscar. He's about the only one I've ever seen do it way back when. That's it. I mean, people do not... Yes, yes. Brando was very, very perceptive because they've got us focused outside of this country. They've got, I'm so stuffed. I'm sorry. It's happening again. They've got us focused outside of this country in order to distract us from something. So meanwhile, America is really Russia. You realize when we make fun of North Korea, we make fun of uh, China and we make fun of Russia because they're control freaks and they censor, we're being censored. Stop using fake words. It's uh, all you people on TikTok. It's sexual abuse, pedophilia, drug overdose, fentanyl. It's war. You should be able to say the name of a country. You know why these people don't want to say the name of a country? And I'm going to call them out on it. Do you want to know why? Because when a TikToker says, I've been listening to so many, when a TikToker says, Oh, I don't want to say it because it's against the rules of TikTok. Are you saying free speech is against the rules? No, here's the thing. You don't want to lose the income you're making off the media stream. That's the reality. That's the reality. So you're greedy for your own money. Why don't you say the word truthfully? 
okay? It's called pedophilia. Jeffrey Epstein didn't just fuck young girls. There was the transfer of young boys, ritual and sexual and blackmail, okay? Yeah, okay, good. And nobody's asking about that. Nobody's asking about that. But we have to focus on Matthew Perry. I'm really sad that he passed for his family. If they're sad, I'm sad for them. I don't like anybody burying their child, period. But he was 54 and he chose a lifestyle that, I mean, logically, he doesn't seem stupid. So he chose a lifestyle. So he reaped the repercussions of taking what? Oh, a vaccine. <laughs> yeah, his lifestyle didn't even kill him. He took the vaccine. He took the vaccine and then he had a heart issue in the jacuzzi. Hey, who am I? I don't know. So, but we focus on him. Why is nobody talking about traffic kids and pedophilia? Why? 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 Where's Jeffrey Epstein? Where's Ghislaine Maxwell? Where? Where, where, where are these people? But we have to talk about Matthew Perry because that's, hi from Canyon Country, Alice. That's the most important thing is Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry is the most important thing on unvaccinated male. It's almost like, hi, I'm uncircumcised. <laughs> uncircumcised, unvaccinated, chop, chop. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sorry that he died for the, you know, the, for anybody who has to lose their loved ones. I'm terribly sorry about that. But I want to know where, why we're not talking about child trafficking and all of the things. And then the government decides that they're going to do war. So, like, why do we listen to the government? Why do we? And you know what I heard that was fucking outrageous today? Outrageous. Okay, there's a woman on TikTok and she's called Freedom Angels. Does anybody listen to her? Denise? She's in Los Angeles and she goes to Sacramento. So um, she, oh, I know. I, I, I mean, I know they, well, because most people are sheep. People actually listen to what the government says. I literally never fucking listen to what the government said. If you're an authority, I challenged you all the way through life. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. I don't care what degree you have. Do you not see? They set people up to go to school to pay prices, to say this is the only way you're going to get a job. Not necessarily. You can send a hairdresser to school to get a job as a doctor, but they're going to need to go to a trade school because their skill is hairdressing, okay? So, hello. But I'm so curious. My neighbor got five shots. Yeah, you know, there's something really stupid about somebody that would get five shots. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry she died, but Jesus I don't know what to say. I don't know what I, I don't know what to say. So Freedom Angels, if you listen to her, Denise, her name is Denise. She was a cholo, I think by her own description, had a horrific childhood, etc. She goes to Sacramento and she fights Newsom, okay, on the vaccine mandates and the other, she keeps up on the politics. She said this morning on one of her podcast or YouTube, TikToks, whatever, she was talking about Granada Hills schools making their own rules about vaccinating like the school it's a public fucking school they can't just arbitrarily say you have to be mandated to get the covid vaccine know your rights know your rules know know what you can and can't do five shots you're a little bit mental it's unfortunate that i mean yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just a little bit mental. Um, yes, and he lost $9 million. Hey, good for Ice Cube. He put his money where his mouth is. Fuck you, I'm not putting shit in my body. I lost a bunch of friends. I literally lost friends. They literally called me crazy. I'm not crazy. I know what's in my body. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Ghislaine Maxa, I know. But it's not just about Prince Andrew and the Clintons. All of the young kids that they traffic. That's how Epstein made his money. They're not even telling you about the trafficking of children that go through government. Ireland is one of the number one trafficking countries, nations, whatever. They traffic all the time, okay? They traffic kids out of there. Nobody, let's see, my cousin has all boosters. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Bill Clinton sucks dick. Bill Clinton probably sucks dick, but he's married to that troll, so... 
I don't know what to say. It's married to the troll. You know Hillary the troll. <laughs> People react based on fear. Yeah, well, because they're, th first of all, if you read, let's see. Uh, I got vaccinated and re yeah, you have a right to choose, but no one had a right to choose. They told you you were losing your job. You had to get in their face and know your legal rights. I didn't hear the president say that. I didn't hear anybody say you have a right to choose. I heard them close down restaurants, take away income, scare, intimidate, bully, lie, fucking straight face lie. Read the documents on that now. It's been released. They fucking lied. So that's not a choice. And I know you respect my 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 right to choose, but those that took the vaccines during COVID, they didn't choose. They were bullied, indoctrinated, fear-mongered, and lied to. That's not a choice. That's that's something else. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's not a choice. You did not have a choice. You did something like you were in red China and Chairman Mao was telling you, take this or you're not going to feed your family. Coerced. Thank you. I'm looking for the word. That's what happened. You were coerced. You did not make a choice. You jumped out of your own fear and fear of not having a job. That's what you did. And that's fine that you chose to do it. You may not like that I'm saying this and that's fine. That's what you chose to do because they bullied you. They are abusive, okay? They're abusive. What they did to people shutting their businesses down and saying to them, you can't earn a living? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? <laughs> like, what? No, seven boosters I had to have. No, Pat, no one has to have seven boosters of anything. If you tell me you have to have, you don't have to have. You are not born here. Hi there. Let's see. Oh, grandchild's coming due on Sunday. Oh my God. Trudeau, what a pile of shit that guy is, right? It, it, no, it's true. It was a, no, it wasn't a choice. People did it because they said, I need to pay bills. That's like sucking a dick. I'm going to say it again. If you're a waitress, and I've been a waitress, and I couldn't use the bathroom in the restaurant. <laughs> because the owner would corner me in the bathroom. So even as a young kid, I was like, I am not going to the bathroom. I will not eat. I will not drink during a shift. And I will run next door or across the street or anywhere else that has a bathroom, but I will not go downstairs. I will not wear a coat into work in the winter because I have to hang it downstairs. And he will catch me and try to fuck me down there. And it's not happening. So that's actually like literally as a kid, I was like, I'm not following your rules. So remember that you have a right to say no. And in order to say no, you have to basically step back and allow them to fire you, okay, in order to fight it. But everybody's too afraid to do it. They think if they follow the abuser's advice, Right? If we follow the abuser's advice, it'll turn out right. Oh, if I could just do this, they'll they'll stop making us wear masks. Y'all know that, that the mask didn't work, right? Like, I'm serious. You know that, right? There has been personal choice. I don't think so. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't see. There has been personal choice. No point arguing. No. Uh, yes, it's a personal choice. But those people did not choose to take the vaccine. They were bullied, gullible, Believing the government, if you're, first of all, if somebody withholds the information, let's see, Dr. Omi, I said, no, I got shingles two months later, I'm still alive. I had shingles in my 30s after surgery on my bra line, and we all caught it at the gym, which just shows you it's transferable by the equipment. Oh my God, I didn't know what it was. Little herpes all over my boobs. Horrible. It wasn't herpes, it was shingles, but the herpes virus. Um... Anyway, if somebody withholds the truth about a circumstance, you can't make an informed decision, period. If you are not told all of the facts up front, totally painful in the shower, fucking painful. And my friend got it all over her hands and they determined that there was an outbreak at the gym because what do you do when you sweat? You grab your towel, you wipe yourself, whatever, wipe your hands, but you're not really washing. Bingo. I know, it's just fucking filthy. So I didn't agree with masks, but wore them to keep my job. See, you wore them to keep your job. The masks don't work. So the information that was given to people was a lie. 
So it was a complete lie. So people don't have a choice when they're not given all of the information. Shingles are totally painful. If you are not just healing from shingles, got it on my jawline. Oh my God, Elizabeth, this is so fucking painful. Oh my God. Pregnant shingles. Um, oh, pregnant shingles is horrible. Um, yeah, so people were not given the information. So when somebody says, here's a house, I'm going to give you this house for $10,000. It's perfectly fine. But they don't tell you that all the plumbing's ruined underneath the house. And that's going to cost you $130,000. And they don't tell you that there's dead people buried in the backyard. And that the government's going to come in and dig them up. And they don't tell you that there was a murder in the upstairs bedroom. And you buy that house for $10,000. You are under the impression that it's this. But you've actually been tricked, lied to, and you cannot make a decision. That is not a choice. You do not have all the facts up front. So there you go. Oh, God, the back of the neck. So painful. Exactly. So I know people don't like it when I say that. They want to punch me in the face. I don't fucking care. You've got to give all the facts up front. When you go to a restaurant and they tell you it's chicken, it bloody well better be chicken. Because if they don't tell you it's fake chicken, then you can't make a choice. So it's not a choice. You are not making a choice. You are being bullied and pressured and annihilated and tricked and fucking following a government. Stop following them. Don't listen to them. Seriously. Anytime, let's see, what is it that last week? And said before is there. Oh God, I just missed that. Anyway, I cured my shingles quickly by putting oh colloidal silver. That's smart. I didn't think of it. I was like in my 30s. I think I was like 38 or something when that happened. But so I feel like I feel shingles aren't a hygiene thing. It was at the gym and it's actually a virus like herpes, like crotch herpes. OK, it's the same virus. So somebody was probably I'm not going to say it anyway. Yeah, shingles can be dangerous for sure. They can be. But I'm not taking a vaccine. I don't take anything. I mean, I don't know. Are the people telling me to take the vaccine or they crotch? <laughs> I was going down that road. Are the chicken pox? Yeah. Are the people telling me to six years ago? It was horrible. It's very painful. I didn't know I had shingles. I did not know what it was till somebody at the gym, my friend told me, oh, that's what that is on you. Um, the problem is we as a society tend to believe our Lord and masters. Like just look at North Korea, right? And fat boy in North Korea, Kim, Kim Yul Jung, whatever, he's protection at the gym, whatever it is. Um, so whatever that guy's name is, how come he's so fat and everybody's starving in the country and people still like listen to him? Mass brainwashing, mass brainwashing. It's mass brainwashing. Okay. So let's see. Jude Law. Hey dude. Okay. Let's see. Colloid, colloidal silver. Oh my God. I'd like to do a shout out to my Croatian. I can't say it. Croatian clients. Lovely. Had a whole bunch today. Absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, so lovely. So, okay, let's see. You're right. It was excruciating in the shower. I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Um, yes, uh, Pluto went direct on like the 11th of October, I think. Where's my book? I don't have my book out here. Yeah, Pluto went direct on October 11th, I believe. Or it could have been November 11th. Let me see. I have to look it up because I forget. I forget. I forget. So which friends do you think is next? Which friends? Yes. Uh, 11, 13. Then it was 11, 11. It went direct. It went just before that. Which person on the TV show Friends is going next? Is it going to be Aniston, Matt LeBlanc, Phoebe, whatever. Which one? Which one, y'all? Which one? I think I'm looking up when Pluto went direct. I, the 11th, 11th of November. Now, um, Pluto Direct 2023. It's still a nightmare. It's still in Capricorn until the end of the it, it, Phoebe, <laughs> Monica, Matt LeBlanc, LeBlanc, look, <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> I think it's a thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. What's his name? Wolverine, X Man that divorced his beard. What's his name? You know who I mean. What the hell is his name? 
Hugh Grant, no, Hugh Jackman, right, swimmer, <laughs> LeBlanc, and <laughs> LeBlanc's on the hit list. Okay, Hugh Jackman just gave, yeah, well, the tiger's blood is the adrenochrome. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that either. I'm not allowed to use any adult words because I need the government telling me what to say. Fuck off. Hugh Jackman got a hundred million, gave a hundred million dollars to his soon-to-be ex-wife in a non-disclosure. Why? Well, A, he's gay, okay? So he's never been straight. That's been his beard. I mean, he probably has fucked women because they do fuck women sometimes, but none of the actors are still on strike, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say adult, no adult words. I mean, please. Anyway, he gave him a hundred, he gave the beard, his ex-wife, a hundred million dollars to, to sign a non-disclosure, which means she can never talk about what she observed. Now, what did she observe? She observed Hugh Jackman at parties with Brian Singer. Now, you know I've been rambling on about Brian Singer. And then I talked about him before he even came out in the news, before it became popular to talk about him, okay? Because I knew somebody who he used for sexual things, as a youngster, okay? Somebody, my friend Terry and I knew. Terry, if you're out there, you know what I'm talking about. She know what I'm talking about. And so does my John know what I'm talking about because there you go. Anyway, Hugh Jackman, Brian Singer, buddies. What does Brian Singer do? Well, he likes to fuck young boys under 15, probably under 12. He likes to do what he does with young boys. He likes to throw parties with Mark Collins Rector and all of the rest of them. But no one's talking about that. And Disney gave that fucker a job back. But you, you can't go to your restaurant as a waiter or your hairdressing salon unless you get the vaccine or you wear a mask. But Brian Singer, the child fucker, that guy can go out and uh, yeah, I'm saying it out loud. And he can direct X-Men and he can do all of that because he's a precious little bitch. He's a Virgo 1965, if I remember correctly. Because I had to look this bitch's chart up. And he married somebody. So he could have a kid with them. Um, yeah. Okay. What are you, pimping your kid out? You pimping your kid out, boy? Uh-huh. Anyway, Brian Singer. I actually, when Keith was two, I was friends with a young man that was dating him. At the time, so my friend Terry and I, we absolutely understand that. But I'm asking you, why is the government allowing Brian Singer to direct movies and rape children? Now, who else is friends with Brian Singer? Who else? We've got the rapist, the one that got off all the rape charges from House of Cards. I can't even think of his name. The one whose dad was a Nazi and raped him growing up. Because he's got shame about it. And the poor little bitch had to go and flick that, uh, everybody. What What the hell? What's his name? No, not Baldwin. Kevin. Kevin. Um, oh, my God. I just forgot his last. Spacey. Thank you. Kevin Spacey. Uh, Kevin Spacey. And uh, there's other people that are in that friend group. I can't think of them all. They all like Brian Singer, too. They all love them. They all love Brian Singer and Brian Singer and Mark Collins Rector and all of those guys back from way, way back in the 90s, in the 80s, all of them, the Geffen, all of them, they've been having boy parties at the pool parties. Yeah, young boys, send your boy here. Your boy will be a star. Let us have your boy for the weekend. If you're the mother of a child, do not let a man take your child away for the weekend. Yeah, birds of a feather, exactly. Brian Singer, Brian Singer. Um, anyway, yeah, the Velvet Mafia. Yeah, but let's not call them Velvet. Yeah, Nickelodeon. It's it's not no, it, it's not about homosexual. They're pedophiles. They are using sodomy as a way of controlling, dominating, and forcing control. Yeah, Dan Schneider, that ugly, that fugly Buster. I call him a Buster. Oh, Merv Griffin. Hello, Zsa Zsa Gabor's sister. What the hell was her name? That one. The sister of Zsa Zsa Gabor, right? She was the beard for Merv Griffin. And the only reason shows got on is because Merv Griffin would do an overall if you fucked him. Not the women, the men. Your husband. Your beards. Your whatever. Ava Gabor, thank you. Um, yeah, her. She was his beard. He was a disgusting, lecherous, little troll. Okay, 
ugly, fat. Can you imagine that guy breathing on you? <sighs> That's all I think about. I'm like, ew. And then, and then we've got Tori Spelling, who possibly was not blessed in any way whatsoever because she was born into a billionaire's family, right? And she looked like her father. I'm just going to say that. No offense, but Jesus Christ. I mean, I just took the Lord's name in vain, but you get what I'm saying. Literally would not have been hired on TV. And then the rest of the women run around thinking that they're ugly, okay? But that one, she got on TV because her dad. So she looked like her dad. Her mother is such a conniving see you next Tuesday that, yes, she's broke. There's no way she should be broke. There is, no, she has harsh, I mean, she really, I'm sorry, she's not, she has a lot of plastic surgery, but I mean, would you pick her to be on TV? The only reason she got on TV is because her family was connected. Let's be real about it, okay? If attractive women are getting turned down to play parts, why is that one getting on camera? Exactly, ask yourself that, no offense to anybody. However, having said that, that's not really, Brian Singer is bi, okay. When we call Brian Singer bi, he rapes young boys. That's what he's known for. So we can skip the bi thing, like by trying to slough it off. He's transgressing against children. You're right. It could be young girls too. But I heard about the young boys firsthand. Um, anyway, Tori Spelling's mother should be ashamed of herself. She has five grandkids. Okay, five. Tori and her brother should have a part of that income, period. Okay, period. They should have, Sloan, are you aware of your sitting posture? Yes, I am aware of it. Um, yeah, I know. Tori Spelling should literally be getting half that money that her greedy Tori is now yachting. Of course she's yachting. Who's fucking her? Okay, sorry, Jesus, who's talking? I Okay, so she's yachting. Her mother, okay, her mother should be giving her that. It's not my business, but when you have 600 million, does it kill you to give the woman 10 million and give her brother 10 million? Like, she, I think she gave him 800,000. I can get that, okay? I think I can get that myself from my family. <laughs> Big deal. I mean, come on. Should she be living like that? She has kids. Like, what is wrong with her mother? Her mother, oh my God, you don't get me started. Her mother, I'm just appalled at what I'm seeing. In spite of everything, it's, oh my God, it's just horrible. She's horrible to not give her daughter and the grandchildren money. What is wrong with you? You have the opportunity to really do that and you can't offer that? Like, what is, what, what, what is wrong with you? You're scum. You're scum. You're a scumbag. Oh, it's the height of greed. It's disgusting. Uh, maybe Candy is protecting Tori. Tori's a grown woman who's popped out five babies and apparently living in a trailer. Let's not use control. Give the woman 10 million. I mean, if she kills herself with it, she kills herself with it. If she marries another idiot, which by the way, she is a narcissist for her mother. So yeah, I would assume she is going to marry another idiot. You're right. I mean, I don't know what to say, but she's an evil person. I mean, who does that to their children? Who does that? I'm just disgusted at everything I'm seeing. Uh, I don't think she had a great life. She was born looking like she did. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. She was born looking like she did. And apparently she was close to her father, which her mommy had issues with and was jealous of her daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, no, she won't leave it to him. And they think it matters. Everybody going to die? Yes, that her husband, the, the Canadian. <laughs> yeah, he, he, they divorced. She looks exactly like her dad. Enough said with that. She can't help that though. No, her mother doesn't owe her anything, but I'm a mother. And sometimes your kids do stuff. It doesn't mean that you don't help them and it doesn't mean that you don't, um, you, she probably was sexually, it's a good question, sexually traumatized as a kid because she's in the, in the company. But regardless, her mother owes her nothing. But what kind of person, you hear what you're saying, right? 
So what kind of person has 600 million or even more and does not help? What are you, a jackal? I mean, I don't care. She doesn't owe her anything. How about being a nice person? I bet she gives more to spend on a purse for some benign Chanel garbage bag, right? Who doesn't help their child? What kind of a piece of shit are you? I'm talking it's your child. That's your child. I have children. I help mine. That's all I can tell you. I help any child. Anybody my kids grew up with, I will help. So my kids' friends, I will help. But my own child, I definitely, and I don't get along all the time with my children, as you know. So it's not going to stop me if they're living in a trailer from going to help them. Like, who are you that you don't help? It's not like she has $10,000. She has $600 million, okay? Yeah. I would do anything for my children. Absolutely anything. I know her daughter's living in a car with a granny. I mean, I'm just like, what kind of a fucking asshole? And her daughter was in a in a in a trauma bonded relationship with an abusive narcissist man who's a lot like her mother if you ask me but hey who am i um because her mother was jealous of her yeah i i just don't know what to say you didn't you didn't tell her to have six children yeah you know you could stop with that she had six children with the relationship that she was in okay because he was abusive to her and it's disgusting it's disgusting yeah, it's, no, he didn't drown in his house. He was murdered. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't speak in code anymore. I feel like I'm going to go crazy. And what about Tara Manning? Tara Manning, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, exactly. Tara, look, yes, I have a business meeting coming up. It's eight o'clock. I'm waiting for him to text, call, whatever. Totally stuffed again. Anyway, Tara Manning is now talking about the golden juice all over TikTok. Why suddenly are these people talking about it? All of them are talking about it. Is it because they want to take the credibility away from the people that were talking about it? Um, no, I, I don't care. Paula, I'm not wrong on this point. If you have a child and you have $600 million, you can fucking get a house for your child, period. Keep it in your name if you must. But you can do that, okay? That's kind of, it's your kid. So I don't know why you think that that's such an issue to do that, but that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> that's just stupid. I'm sorry. Just stupid. Yes, then you know how Brian Singer is, if you know someone that worked with him, right? I'm assuming the golden juice is adrenochrome, chrome, adreno, you know, you get it, right? I'm assuming that that's what it is, but... I'm, no, not golden, no, and that's funny, because that's what uh, uh, Whitney asked her, uh, that's Ashley's sister on here, by the way, she's been doing a lot of interviews with Whitney Cummings, who is little Ashley's sister, um, but yes, the golden juice, now Tara Manning says she didn't take the golden juice, so it's kind of interesting, but she's all over, so why are they suddenly now going, look, <laughs> there's this, while well, they've been calling the rest of us crazy for years, there's always a way that they're trying to take over what we do when we catch them in order to validate us. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, okay. I just don't even care. You've got to stop. Don't be so stupid. I'm, I'm literally going to say it again. Because, Paula, you could go on another channel. It's ridiculous to not help your child. Even if your child is a fucking prostituting, crack addict, weirdo you're the one that raised them you brought them onto earth so why your child so fucked up what did you do to them maybe you should make amends by making sure your grandkids are okay they are children they are babies and you're right nobody owes anybody anything that's why people step over homeless people and kick them in the head because nobody fucking owes anybody anything but as a human being to your own offspring, which you are responsible for, because certainly no one else gives a shit about your kids other than you, more than you. It is your obligation spiritually to be kind, to give them a bar of soap, some water, and make sure you're under the age of 15. There's a couple of little ones that she has. 
Those little ones need to have a place to stay and not be traumatized. They are babies. If she can afford it, then she can do it. For God's sakes. Okay? For God's sakes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say about that, but... Um, I understand you don't have enough, you don't, no one has an obligation to help you, help you either when you ask for help. No one gives a shit about you, but as a mother, and I am a mother, I'm a mother of a dead kid, a dead stepson, and a living kid, and I'm a mother of grandkids, and nothing my living child could do, anything would not make me take care of him because why? I birthed him. That is my responsibility. How do you people not know that? That's why there's so many fucked up people in the world. It's why. That's why. I'm not saying she has to agree with her marriage. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying any of that. Okay? <laughs> $600 million. I would help Tori Spelling, and I don't have as much money as her purse is worth. Okay? Like, it's ridiculous. You have an obligation to be a decent person. How about that? But Candy Spelling is not. And that's her choice and her prerogative. So when she dies, I hope she stands in front of her maker and her maker says, listen, you dumb bitch. We gave you all this money <laughs> to see what you would do with it. Not have a house for your fucking purses, you know? Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. When you can't help, you should help. Unless, unless, unless everybody on this planet is a liar. Because I feel like they are a lot of liars on this planet. Because we all tell our children, again, don't do drugs, be nice, get an education, take care of your body, don't drink, bathe yourself, look clean, all the shit that we tell our children. And yet, we sit there when our child, because Tori Spelling definitely is traumatized. She definitely was in an abusive relationship with that husband, okay? That's called a trauma bond. She definitely has an issue with um, how she was raised by a cold, negligent mother who was probably a narcissist. So none of these are God-fearing. These are actually like evil, all right? So if you're going to treat a homeless person on the street better and you're going to go do charities for random strangers, help your own family. Your charity begins at home jackasses. Oh my God. I can't. I just can't. I just can't. I can't. I just can't. I just can't. And I won't. I will not listen. I'm telling you, I have children and they annoy me. Okay. I would never let my grandkids live in a trailer if I could help them. 